In simple terms, it basically means that when a child is born, the testicle is not in the scrotum. It should be in the scrotum, but it's not there. And so during embryologic development, the testis actually starts in the belly cavity or the abdomen. Early on during embryologic development, it starts to make its way out of the abdomen, and then it goes into the groin area, which is called the inguinal canal. And eventually, it should go all the way down into the scrotum. And in about 3% of newborns, uh, the testis is not there. It hasn't made its way all the way down. So it's a relatively common condition. And then usually by 6, 12 months of age, maybe 1, 2% have an unascended testis, which tells you that half to two-thirds of children that initially have a testicle that's not in the right spot, by 6, 12 months of age, it will eventually descend all the way down into the scrotum and not require any additional management. And for those that don't have a testis that is all the way down by 6 to 12 months of age, um, then really the only way to bring it down is surgical management. And uh, fortunately, the vast majority are going to be located uh, within the groin area or the inguinal canal and are brought down fairly easily with uh, an outpatient procedure that takes about an hour or an hour and a half. Um, a small percentage of patients will have a testis that's actually up in the abdomen, and that can be a more challenging procedure. And then depending on the surgeon's preference, they can either approach that with minimally invasive techniques like laparoscopic or robotic surgery, um, or it can be done through a conventional open technique. And there's different ways to do that. And so a lot depends on exactly where the testis is located and what type of procedures the surgeon is most comfortable with. For an unascended testis, the vast majority are going to be asymptomatic, meaning they have no symptoms whatsoever. And essentially, it's just detected on the newborn exam by their pediatrician and that they either can't feel a testicle or they can feel a testicle and it's not in the right position. In the majority of cases, it's just one testis. Um, and, uh, you know, in the minority of patients, uh, it's going to be both testis. Most of the time, pediatricians are pretty comfortable taking care of this since it's a very common condition. And if they don't feel the testis or they don't see that the testis is coming down appropriately by three, six months of age, then they'll usually refer them to us. And that's, that's generally the most common time that I see children is when they're three to six months of age. If the testis doesn't come down by six months of age, it's highly unlikely to come down any further, depending on where its location is. And so in general, if it hasn't come down by that time, then the recommendation of surgery will be made. So the surgical procedure to bring the testis down is known as an orchidopexy, um, and the traditional way to do that is to make an incision probably about that big, relatively small, uh, maybe one to two centimeters uh, in the groin area. Uh, so we try to put it right in the crease so it's a very cosmetic appealing uh, incision, it's well hidden. Uh, the one localize the testis, uh, since most of them are located in that area. There's usually tissue that's holding it in place. There's also what we call sort of a subclinical hernia uh, because where the testis pops out of the abdominal compartment, there's an opening there that needs to be closed. So technically that's also known as a hernia. And then in greater than 95% of cases, we're able to bring the testis down successfully into the scrotal area. We'll make an additional incision in the scrotum and uh, tack the testis down with absorbable sutures and then close everything up. Usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half, um, depending on the difficulty. Everyone's a little bit different. Um, and then it's an outpatient procedure in the vast majority of individuals. And uh, the recovery is such that most parents say that within two to three days, the child is pretty much back to normal probably a greater than 95% success rate. We know if we leave the testis in an abnormal position or in the groin area, slowly over time, it will lose its capacity or fertility potential to make sperm. It's not something that happens overnight, but between the time uh, that they're declared to have an unascended testis, by the time they reach puberty, if the testis is not brought down, it'll eventually lose most of its potential to have adequate sperm production. The families need to understand uh, that if we bring it down successfully, there's still uh, the need to teach the child self-examine the importance of that. Just like women are taught to examine their breasts, all men should be examining their testicles um, as they grow up, uh, and they need to be taught that, uh, especially in those individuals that ha have history of an undescended testis. An additional reason to bring the testis down is to have it in a position uh, that obviously uh, will be one that can facilitate comfort uh, as well as if they play sports, uh, then the cup can be placed in an appropriate place uh, to protect that testis from potential injury. Lastly, certainly the psychosocial uh, issues of having two testicles as far as, as opposed to just one testicle.